Okay guys, so you've seen the reveal video. It's now, as I've done on my every single bike I've ever done, doing a re uh, <laughs> not a reveal, uh, a test ride, the first ride, whatever you want to call it. As always, here at Cheddar Gorge, as you've seen in many of my videos. Um, but this is like, I'll get on the bike in a minute and do a little talk and stuff, um, explaining updates, shit. Um, I did do an update video on the R3 a while ago, um, but never uploaded it. So I'm going to do it on the Gixxer. Um, if you've not seen the reveal video, that'll be linked in the description and the comments and everywhere on Instagram and stuff, so follow there. Yeah, I'll do all the update stuff, explain everything. You'll probably wonder who's filming. It's my lovely missus. She's behind the camera. Um, but yeah, we'll get on the bike and we'll talk about shit. And we'll talk about this lovely machine that I've only ridden for a day, so bear with me. This is, it's not, it's the fastest bike I've ever ridden, but it's, it's not a thousand cc bike. So it's fast, but if you've ridden a thousand cc bike, you'll be like, ah, it's not fast. It's fast, okay? Coming from an R3 to that, it's fast, okay? Um, I know I had the Ducati, but we'll skip that. Um, so yeah, let's do this. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Kids are playing. <laughs> Right, I've also got these two Muppets, I mean he's a Muppet, he's my bae, he's, he, he's a Muppet. <laughs> right, let's do an update, tell you what's been going on, and ride the Jixxer. <sighs> right, so, you may see like, I might add in bits with the, um, from the R3. Just to uh, explain in. If, if I forget something, it's easier to just chuck in that video and shit and whatever. Um, so we'll talk update, but we'll also talk about this bike because it is an awesome bike. And I know I say that about pretty much every bike I've ever ridden. It comes bandit man. Um, but it really is. It handles. These have got super coarse the tyres on but I mean it's not been in the best of weather to be chucking it around but it does handle really well like it's um when I rode the Z800e it feels like that like it's, it handles amazing coming around corners it's so like smooth it's not a heavy bike but it's smooth um, and you could tip it in a corner in the right gear power it out Obviously, this red line's at 15,000 all the way up to 16,000. Mental. But that's like, it's got kind of like two power bands. One at like seven, and then another one at about 12, and it's fucking, then it rips your head off. Um, the top speed of it is stated about 164, 168, somewhere about between there, which is insane. I actually picked this bike up. You're probably like, why did I get this? Because I've got the Supermoto that I'm building, which I'll also update you on. I wanted a commuter bike, so I wanted something cheap, and this was going really cheap because there's slight damage on the right-hand side where it's just been dropped. And I was like, mate, that's fine. It's got 26,000 miles, brand new MOT, full service, everything. Like, brand new Renfels wrist, sprocket and chain. It, it, it's been looked after. I do obviously want to do a couple of bits for it, but this will be mainly going to work and back my bike. And I wanted another Super Sport, so that's why I got this, cheap. Reliable and just great fun. <laughs> so I'm in third gear, I think, right now. Let's have a bit of fun. It is obviously, I, I'm not gonna thrash it. If you want to see me thrashing it around here, you're more than welcome to check out my older videos uh, on the Ducati, the R3, everything. I've ridden a lot of bikes along here. But I ain't doing that today, not in this, not in the wet, like, nah. It, it handles amazing, the clutch is really light, I thought it'd be a lot stiffer, because it's not a hydraulic clutch, but it's a light clutch, it's surprising, I don't think it's a slipper clutch. Throttle's kind of stiff, which makes you scared, which is another thing, is 
riding with Tom has always left me in my head thinking about one quote he said. Um, he was on about the speed, uh, the street triple. This is when he got his Ninja 636. He said he was looking at getting a street triple or an R6. And he decided to get the Ninja in the end, but he would have decided over the R6 because it scared him. And I thought, ah, nah, that's bullshit. I thought the, the, the torque of the street triple would scare you more. And it wasn't until I rode a 600 sports bike that I realized, fuck me, they are scary. Like, it's something about being lent over like this and having that power van all the way at the top, screaming like mad. It scares you, like, but it's fun. Like, it is so much fun. And it's so smooth. These fucking Japanese four-cylinder bikes are so smooth. It's still got the stock exhaust, but you know me, I ain't gonna last long. All in all, this bike's reliable, smooth, fast, pretty much everything you want from a bike, and it's got usable power for the road. Like a thousand cc is almost, it's not too much, you can use it. But I don't know, there's something, oh look at the glider over there. There's something about a 600 sports bike, which I love. It's supposed to be dead, but I love it, I really do. Um, so yeah, this is basically the bike you're going to see me ride more often now, like doing videos on it. Especially now, um, the engine is completely out, it, that's, it's the engine and the frame and everything, that's all that's left. Uh, it just needs powder coating and putting back together now. Uh, everything is bought for it, it's just, you know what, we will take up here. It's just doing that. Let's do it. Oh, even with a stock exhaust, this bike sounds amazing. I'm hoping that I can't... Yeah. Right, here we go. It is good, man. And it just handles so nicely. If you go to the video of me riding the... Z800, that's exactly how this feels. Now, if you just want to see the update video, like where I've been, all that kind of stuff, skip to this number and you can see that. If you just want to see me talking about this bike, then just stay until then and click off when you see, when I start talking about updates, all right? For now, we're just going to focus on this bike. Um, because it's awesome. I love the dash on it. That's always one thing with me, is it's got to have a nice dash. All the instruments, um, all the dials, everything. I really like it. Obviously, it hasn't got a gear indicator, but you don't need one. It's just like, it's nice to have. Um, it's got a temperature gauge, miles. It's, it's got the basics that you need. Um, it hasn't got hazards. Um, everything's where you want it to be, which is always l nice. Not like bloody Honda, where they put the bloody indicators and the horn the other way around. I never understand why they did that. I'm sorry for the winter sun and the winter weather. Now, I know it ruins video quality and stuff, but what can you do when you're a motor vlogger in the UK, eh? Um, you're very, very lent over, like... It's very, very sporty, but it's still comfortable. Like, even with the missus on the back, she says she, the seat on there is much better than the R3 seat. And I find this more comfortable. You get used to it quite quickly, but it's more comfortable than my R3 was with the clip-ons. But it, it's just, it's just awesome. I want to get some heat grips for it. The rental grips on this, they're aftermarket, but they're really good. Um, brakes are amazing. It's got, uh, twin disc at the front, one at the back. Um, Tyco, I think it is. So that is something. Um, but they're really good. Like they stop you. Uh, rear brake isn't amazing, but it's still better than the R3s. Let's see. It just handles. It doesn't feel heavy. Like when you look at it. It looks like a lump. It looks big, but it doesn't feel heavy. 
Um, it's not super tall. I'm tippy toes, but I'm a midget. Um, it's more you're straddling it. Um, so it fills. So you can't touch the floor. That makes sense. Like it's wider. Massive tank. I'm not sure what litre of tank it is actually. Um, poof, what else can I say? It's amazing around town because because the power band is so high, you can prod along in safe gear and just absolutely chill. Like I'm chilling in like, safe gear. I was in fifth, I think. Safe gear now, and um, just chilling at 40, and it's super smooth. It doesn't vibrate. Like you do this on an R3. And it fucking vibrates like mad, but this is just smooth, easy at town. Like you're not gonna get yourself in trouble. It's amazing, it really is. It's such a good bike. Um, sun's starting to go down now. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I need to talk about this bike. If there's any more things I think of, I'll put it. I'll put a thing at the end of this little section of all the other stuff I think of this bike. Um, but yeah, it's, it, you're gonna see a lot more of this on this bike. So stay tuned. If you're not, if you're thinking about buying one of these and you want to know more, subscribe and you'll see more videos of me talking about the bike and modifications and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Now I've got a Super Sport and a Super Moto, which is what I've always wanted. Um, so yeah, I'm not. Obviously, you're gonna get the reveal if it's not out already it'll be out soon as soon as it's done but yeah guys i am back so make sure you subscribe make sure you're liking all the videos uh, and that's pretty much everything i'll um yeah Ty, you can now end this video if you just want to see the review of this for now i'm gonna i'm gonna give you an update of where i've been what i've been doing that kind of stuff so if you're not here for that you're more than welcome to click off if you are stay tuned i know it's a long video stay tuned and we'll go on i talk about where i've been what i've been doing that kind of stuff so you've still seen videos like i've still been uploading the euro trip and stuff but obviously that i went in august i think was it in august i went yeah august august into september yeah um is that that's when i did the Europe trip so that's ages ago that's like a few months ago now so it has been a while since i've actually made a video i haven't made i've made one other video which is the update video on the r3 other than that i haven't made a video like i've not even had the gopro on my helmet like my gopro hero 4 black is broken uh so i'm running the session which i'm hoping is still recording um because otherwise i will be upset um but yeah, i've not made any videos obviously i've got a new missus um i know she's wearing the same helmet don't ask questions but yeah she is she's lovely she's helped me through a lot um i've if you've watched my depression video you know i've gone through shit i went through another t like dark stage like that i'm still in it i've had to go for therapy and all that kind of stuff now um but i'm getting there I've, I've got the help that i need to get better basically so you don't need to worry about me um but yeah i stopped making videos i stopped recording stopped everything like that and was just like i'm just gonna i'm not gonna tell anyone i'm just disappearing like i just need time on my own work out what i want uh, i was thinking about changing jobs all that kind of stuff still at the same job um i've moved house you've seen that but yeah i've just been living my life i haven't really done anything but i'm back into it now I'm, I'm i'm now i've got a new bike i'm building the ktm i feel like I'm, I'm back i feel i feel motivated again to make videos so i'm just waiting for that summer man waiting for the summer i'm gonna film some of the holidays i go on all that kind of stuff i hate this corner um but yeah that, that, i think that's pretty much everything um if not i'll chuck in little clips There's, i'm gonna chuck in little clips of us riding back here but yeah i think i think that's everything I love all of you guys, you guys are awesome. You're still showing so much support on all the videos, man. It's amazing. And um Yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. So Yeah, I'll um I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Sometimes I wonder too much
Is it really worth all the drama? Is it really worth all the stress?